Good morning, sweet friends, and welcome back to my Yarnatopia. Today is Thursday. It is the 14th day of December and the 14th day of Vlogmas. I am so grateful to have you join me again today. And in today's video, we're going to be opening some advents. We are going to be talking about the patterns that I shared this morning on my community tab. It looks like this. And preview. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the ones I made and the ones I plan to make in 2024. I may have already bought yarn for one of them because I'm so excited about it and I'm going to share that with you. And we're going to be talking about the coffee of the day and yesterday since I didn't get to do anything yesterday. Wednesdays are really busy for me. And we're also going to be looking at this week's giveaway prize. There will be two prizes this week again, and I'll be talking about those in a bit. And then tomorrow, we're gonna be decorating for Christmas. So I really hope you check back for that as well. I am sitting here drinking some of my hot tea. This is a some kind of berry something. I think I showed the tag this morning. And I had to go back in for some more knits because it's cold out here. It is supposed to be up to 60 today, and. I don't see that happening. I don't know. But I've had a very busy morning and I've already got my mother-in-law's clean. I went over and checked on her and spent some time with her. And I will be going back over there again later and making sure she eats her lunch. But I really need to work on going through some more yarn and I still have a little bit of more desk stuff I need to get done. However, yesterday, Mr. Yarn my husband hung up some of my shelves in my closet and I'm pretty happy about them. They look amazing and they're gonna be so functional for me. I really don't have that much more stuff to bring out here besides my sewing stuff. We'll probably be working on that hopefully next week. And I still have to finish the shelf above my doorway and obviously get electricity. And I don't know when that's coming. So <laughs> there may be a lot of bundling up this winter when we're out here, but I'm just happy to be out here and to be sharing this and my creativity and hopefully inspire you to get out and create. So enough sitting around, let's go get to work. Welcome back. It has been a busy day. I have done a lot out here and tomorrow we will be decorating for Christmas. I don't have all my bookcases yet so obviously I can't decorate to my full extent and I don't have my shelf up there yet above the closet but we're still going to decorate as much as we can and we're going to talk about ornaments tomorrow because I have a lot of cute ones to show you. Let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway today. There's actually going to be two giveaways. One of them is going to be mainly for the U.S. residents and the other one is going to be open worldwide. I'm going to do another free $5 or less pattern giveaway because that is something I can easily send to anyone as long as they have an email address and I can send them a free pattern from Ravelry. You do not have to have a Ravelry account to get a pattern from Ravelry. I just need to have an email address that it will send to. So to be entered into that giveaway, what I want you to do is tell me about what kind of pattern you would like to win. Make sure you use the word pattern in your comment because that is the keyword I'm going to be using. But, you know, tell me about if it's a special designer pattern, if it's a hat or if it's a fingerless. I want to know. I may want to make it too. I need you to enable me. So this is a great way for you to do that. Also for this week's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away this skein of yarn. Now I have a basket, a, a tub, a 64 quart plastic bin actually, that I randomly add to. And I've been doing so since the dawn of time, since I started knitting and crocheting. And its sole purpose is to house giveaway items, either that I give away at my community event or that I give away on my channel. Because I had a prior channel that was deleted and I did giveaways there as well. But for this week's giveaway, sticking with the kind of Christmassy theme, I went with this green yarn from Cascade Yarns. This is called Bentley. It's a really, really nice soft yarn. It is very pretty. It's kind of a 
kind of a marled yarn. It's 75% acrylic, 25% superwash wool. It's 100 grams. This is a yarn weight four, so it's a worsted weight yarn. And with 200 and, what did I say? 207.8 yards, that's 190 meters, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. It recommends a US 7. That is plenty to make a hat. A very cute little hat for a little person. Or for an adult, actually. So to be eligible to win this yarn, you need to leave a comment below with the word yarn in it. Also, for both giveaways, neither one of these are affiliated with YouTube, social media, Cascade, anything. They're just from me to you. You do need to be 18 years of older. You do not have to like or subscribe to this channel to be eligible to win either one of these, although it is greatly appreciated because hitting that thumbs up button under the video really helps these channels, mine included, and it is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated when you do so. It is a great way to show support to a channel that you love to watch and trust me, we need support because it's a lot of work to do this. <laughs> the rest of the giveaway rules will be listed down below as always, as well as links to YouTube's terms and conditions and giveaway policies per their user agreements. So if you have any questions, you can also reach out to me, but that's the giveaways this week. Okay, now let's talk about that community post that I put up this morning because there are some very enticing patterns on there that I want to make sure that you see. Number one, I'm going to pull it up so I can reference it, by the way, because it's been a very long day. These are called Mrs. Fitz Mitts. And if you do not know, Mrs. Fitz is a character from the Outlander series which is this really long series about this lady who travels back in time to Scotland and it's just, it's really good. It's kind of graphic sometimes, but in the books, it's a pretty well-written series. And the author, Diana Gabaldon, Gabaldon, am I saying her name wrong? I don't know, possibly. Really went in and studied the culture and the times of things like how herbal medicine was used and she puts it pretty accurately, accurately, why can't I speak today, in the book. I love these mitts. I also really love the character, Mrs. Fitz. She is a shorter lady, she's a cook, and she just is all kind of warm and fuzzy hugs to everyone. She is the typical Nan, I guess you can say, that everyone wants to have. And in the, the series, the TV series, she always has on these mitts. And that is what this pattern is inspired from. I like to wear fingerless mitts because as I mentioned, I like to layer. I also find that they're helpful to me because I do have plates and pins in my arms from a car wreck in 2000 where a drunk driver just kind of left me to die. But they do help with some of the cramping I get in the winter when my arms get cold. And so I like to always have a fingerless mitts close by. So these are the ones that I made. I made these in 2017 and I love them. I use Malabrigo Yarns in Arrow, which is a sport weight base. And this is the colorway Reflecting Pool number 133. It is this very tonal aqua blue color. The mitts are worked... I think they were top down. I don't remember if they were top up or bottom down and I didn't put it in my notes, but they have this garter cuff and then it's just straight knitting. And then the stockinette does its natural roll, which goes on your hand. And then you just leave a slit for your thumbs. And as you can see, I did make these, I cast these on in 2017 and I see, I actually, woven in all my ends and I blocked them and I just never snipped my end. Problem solved. That is funny. Oh, I did this other one the same way. I always weave my ends in, but I don't ever snip to the very end after I block them. That way the yarn can pull back into them and not pop out. But I, I love these mitts. They fit wonderfully and I do wear them quite often. Now the next pair of mittens that I shared this morning that I made are the Let's Go Camping mitts and this was actually part of a collaboration with Mustache Yarns whom I 
love Stacey Jarn. I talk about her a lot. As well as a local to her pottery place. And it was a kit that you can order. And this came out originally in 2017 as well. And I got the kit. And I do not regret at all getting that kit. Because it came with this stunning mug that I still have. Actually, I have plans on putting it out here. And I'll have it thinking of doing a little hot tea station. Because I don't want to have to have creamer out here and have a little refrigerator. So hot tea is more she shed friendly, I guess you can say. But I love these mitts. So I actually got the whole kit. I still have my mini skein that came with it. I did not use it. I bought that separately with intention on using it in the leftover yarns for a project and I just never got around to doing it. But these are my mitts and I do want to show you that there is a mistake on them. And I left it. I was so proud of myself. But I'm going to be honest with you, there is not a day that goes by when I wear these that I do not see that stupid mistake. It is the bane of my existence. This is why when I see mistakes, I always just stop what I'm doing and go back and fix them. But someone had said, hey, it's okay, let it go. And it's just kind of like leaving your mark on it. I don't know who said that to me, but I don't listen to that advice anymore. I go back and fix things because seriously, it sticks out to me like a sore thumb. I'm going to see if you can see it. So here's one side of them where my thumbs. This is a self-striping yarn. It is so pretty from Mustache Yarns. This is the other side. And if you can't see it, it's right there. So the way these are worked is in the round. And then on part of it, you do reverse stockinette. So there's a difference between garter and reverse stockinette. Let's talk about that because I think that gets confused a lot. Number one, garter is when there is the bumps on both sides of the fabric. There's bumps here, there's bumps there. So when you're working in the round to produce garter, you have to knit a row and then you have to purl a row. You have to knit a row and then you have to purl a row. If you're working flat to produce garter, you knit a row, you purl, you knit, you purl. But in the round, it's a little bit different. Now, there is stockinette stitch, which is this smooth stitch here. And then reverse stockinette is just what it sounds like. It is just the garter bumps that get produced on the opposite side. So the way this is made is as you're working in the round, and this is a free pattern. I shared it earlier today in my community post, and I will link that down below. You do a section of reverse stockinette, and then you do a section of stockinette, and that produces this kind of mitten that has two sides, kind of. Super, super cute. Right there, I accidentally did a yarn over, and then I just began knitting it, and it added an extra stitch to this one. And it drives me absolutely batty. But it's fine. I still love these and I still wear them quite often. I actually wore them a lot last month because they are the epitome of fall colors to me. And I just make sure that that's on the palm of my hand so I don't see it that often. The third pair of knitted mitts that I showed on top are called the Socks versus Fingerless Mitts. And you probably have seen that pattern before if you've been watching my Vlogmas because that is what I'm actually knitting in my mustache yarn. And this is A Hobbit's Christmas. And this is what I've got so far. I can't say that I've got to knit a lot lately because I'm trying to get things done out here. But I still love these a lot. They're very pretty and they are working up identical to each other because this skein of yarn is called her perfect pair. So it comes hanked in two pieces and then when you wind them, they're perfectly matched. So when you start them, you'll have matching socks or in my case, mitts. And this pattern was written so that if you start a pair of socks and you decide that, hey, you don't want to use that yarn as socks, you can use it as mittens. And so I didn't want to use socks. I think this yarn is way too pretty and Christmassy and I want them as mittens. So the other three patterns I shared are things that I plan on making in the upcoming year, but they're also free patterns as well. The first one is the Han Jan 
crochet. It is this fingerless mitt that has like this really cute stitch on it. I just think it's really kind of neat and textured. The other one, Sandra Paul. Oh my goodness. That lady has my heart. She really does. She doesn't even know me, but she has my heart. I love her YouTube channel. I'm going to tag that. I think I also tagged it in the community post as well. But she makes the most colorful, happy things. And these have actually been on my knitar, which is my knitting radar or my crochet radar. I guess it'll be crodar for these because these are not knitted. But I've been wanting to make these probably since I first originally saw the pattern when it came out. They are this colorful crocheted mitten and I love the fact that she used different color buttons on them. I just think that's extra special and I really want to make these because I've only crocheted a couple of pair of mittens in my lifetime of knitting and crochet and I didn't even use a pattern for them and one pair I gave away. I still have the other these crocheted ones though. They're just somewhere. I don't know. I don't really know where. Okay, so let's talk about the pair of knitted mittens that are super colorful on this page. This pattern originally came out in June of 2013. So this pattern was actually came out about the time that I literally first started knitting and I just learned about it this month. And I saw them and immediately I was like, I've got to make those. I love the colorway of yarn that they use. I wanted to use something that kind of give me that same look and I found the perfect skein of yarn. So these mittens use a DK weight yarn. They use about 162 to 231 yards. And this is what I'm gonna be using. This is Unique DK, and this is a hand-dyed yarn, self-striping. And I don't know if the self-striping aspect is gonna work for me, I hope. I hope, I didn't know it was self-striping. This may not work. This may be an epic fail, but I saw this yarn and I'm like, okay, that could work. But now I'm starting to wonder. The pattern says it's great for self-striping, so let's just hope so. Anyways, this is super fun. And I love, love, love these bright colors. This colorway is called, I don't think it has a name actually. It's 300 yards and it is 100 grams of DK weight. It's 100% extra fine superwash merino. And there is not a colorway. Oh, color 6023. So I don't know what that that is. But I'm hoping it works out as well as it's playing in my mind. We shall see. So it has been rather busy here lately. I have got so much done in the shed the last few days, like so much done. You can see floor and I was able to bring in my third rug that I picked up at Aldi's a while back over the summer and I'm just ecstatic. It's still getting pretty cold out here, but I am enjoying my little heater and I just bundle up and it's fine. I really, really cannot wait to kind of decorate tomorrow. I've already got my decorations. I think what I think that's what's in those totes. I haven't even opened them up yet, so we're just gonna have to play it by ear. But I think it'd be kind of fun. And we'll we'll do that tomorrow. The advents I've been doing, I was so behind on my coffee and tea advent. Like this weekend has just like zoned by me in this whole week. My kids had a Christmas party and it's just been nonstop doing something or cleaning something. I've been cleaning so I'm so tired of cleaning or doing laundry and so much laundry. So I'm a little behind on that on my coffee and my jellies but I have really enjoyed my hot tea and two days ago no not even 48 hours ago the ground was frozen with a pretty hard freeze and I took these photos and I had that intro in the vlogmas with the um, icy grass Today, it got to like 65 degrees. There's just no words for that. I love in the winter when everything dies. Maybe that's why I love winter so much, now that I think about it. I don't know. But the yarn advent calendars, I had to open today's and yesterday as well. And yesterday's was this really pretty color called the Shrieking Sh- And it's these gorgeous purples. And I do, do love some purples and grays. It's very, very pretty. I love it, don't get me wrong. However, I did open up today's advent and I'm pretty sure I drooled. 
It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. So I just, I just don't even know what to say about this. This is Tom Riddle's diary. I just, I honestly don't even know if there's words to say. If you're watching this, I don't even, I don't even know what to say about this, Miss Donna. This is absolutely stunning. If you have a whole skein of this laying around, you can just send me an invoice and I promise you I will pay for it because I love this. This is so, so pretty. So pretty. Your yarn is, I'm truly impressed with this advent calendar. Like it is just, it's really, 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 really pretty. So that is all I have today. I am going to go in and get this edited and try to get it up today. The giveaways are going to end on, let's say Wednesday of next week. And then I'll have a new giveaway because I have something I want to give away around the week of Christmas that um, I got over the summer. Yeah, it's been a great day. It's been super, super windy here. So walking back and forth to my mother-in-law's has been quite the adventure. The amount of leaves that have fallen from the big oaks in the front yard just kind of go everywhere. Honestly, I'm surprised I don't have a leaf in my hair. I got over there earlier and I walked in and looked at the mirror and there was like a leaf just kind of hanging out. <laughs> it just got attached to me and hitched a ride. So it's just been a crazy day. But I have soup I have to go get ready and rice to make to go with the soup to send over. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I will see you in the next one. But until then, as always, you can see if YouTube is doing what it's supposed to, a video it thinks you're going to enjoy right here. Bye.